Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of cancer for the month of May. I have decided to use the Myst Mystic Dreamers Tarot deck this month and I'm still going to pull one card from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. Okay, all right. So the way I usually do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Okay, so I'm going to give it a good shuffle. And those are called clarity cards and jumpers. If uh, more than one card falls out, I put everything back in the deck and wait only for one card to fall out. Okay, all right. There's the first card. All right, so if you're new to my channel, I am what's called a clairsentient. And what that means is that I read, do my readings through clear feeling. Um, it's a heightened form of empathy. And what I do is it's called I read, I read people. Okay, that's, um, that's where I shine, that's where I do my best work. And so reading people, what that means is that I read other people's emotions. So if you're involved in a relationship and you're not sure why you're being treated the way you're being treated or if the person loves you or, or whatever the case is, I can feel what that person feels emotionally. Okay, so um, if I feel like they love you, I feel like I'm in love. If I feel like this person wants to wait, uh, walk away from it, I feel like I want to walk away from it. And with that, I feel I can feel past, present, and future. I can feel um, uh, just where they're going to go with their emotions. I can feel um, what their plan is. And uh, I would say that my accuracy rate is about 90%. And, you know, nothing warms my heart more is when I get an email that's saying they can't believe how bang on I am with the reading. It comes easy to me. Yeah, I didn't have to study it. It's just something that comes easy. No course can make, make somebody more intuitive. You know, you just have to just pay attention to your gut. And for me, it's just feelings. I just, I just, feel, I just feel things. So I can feel what another person feels. Okay. All right, what are the messages for Cancer for the month of May? Met cancer for the month of May. Cancer for the month of May. And if you do want to get a private reading, email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hour, hours, and usually my readings are out within 48. doesn't take long at all. I'm not backed up. I really do try and get the readings out as fast as I can because um, people are kind of distraught. Anybody that messages me, they're either they're at their wits end, they don't know what to think, they're confused, they're scared, they're lost. And, you know, I don't like it when people feel like that. So I really try and get to people as fast as I can and either calm them or, you know, help them out. Okay. All right. So there's the very first card. This card indicates the relationship and it's the world card. And the world talks about a completion um, in life, a lesson, a goal. All right. So this relationship that you're in, is there, is this a completion? It's where you want it to be, this relationship. Okay. All right. The world represents, um, uh, the end of a cycle, you know, it's um, completion of something, okay? All right, so what is going on in their mind? There's the Empress, and the Empress speaks about abundance. So in their mind, they are feeling that they're abundant in this relationship. It's about fertility as well, so, you know, be careful. It could, if you're not looking to get pregnant, you might want to use some protection or something like that. But the Empress card does represent, um, uh, at times it can represent um, pregnancy. Okay. Um, it's about blessings. And so this person right now uh, is feeling that there there's abundance and blessings in their life when it comes to this relationship. Okay. All right. So you... Is this for what's going on in your mind? We have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles represents patience, hard work, it's delayed success. It's about you planting the seed but not seeing any results yet. So 
it's like you planting the seed, you're watered, you fertilized, you weeded, and you still see nothing coming out of this. This person, see, in their mind, they're, they're there. They feel the abundance, but you're still waiting to see that, okay? All right. So this is a card of patience. Just keep up the hard work. Uh, the fruits, you will reap the fruits of your labor. Okay, here we have the Ace of Swords. This is what's going on uh, with them emotionally. And the Ace of Swords is about new ideas, or it could be a conflict, uh, mental clarity. So emotionally, they could be getting some clarity here. Um, uh, this also does, could talk about conflict. It is a new beginning. Aces are beginnings, tens are endings. But this here is, um, it could be emotionally a new beginning of an idea or a new beginning of some sort of a clarity, emotion-wise. Okay. Now, we have the star card. And the star card is how you're feeling emotionally. And the star card is about, it's about renewal, hope, inner clarity, miracles. You're both getting some clarity here emotionally. Okay. All right. Because this card here represents the relationship. It's about a completion. Okay. So this is also a renewal of some sort emotionally with you. And some hope and clarity and miracles. All right. Next card, this person is representing themselves as the Nine of Swords on the outside. And the Nine of Swords is about nightmares, anxiety, depression, grief. It's about worry. It's about unfounded worries. So this person is being kept up at night with worry. You know, can't eat, can't sleep. Is worried about things that really they don't need to be worried about. All right. They represent themselves like this. They could not be showing their emotions or what they're thinking, which could have you confused. You know, you're thinking, I'm putting all this work and I don't see anything. Okay. But this person is not sharing here. Okay. All right. And representing themselves as this. So I don't know if you've taken on all this worry with this person. Okay. All right. And how you represent yourself on the outside. We have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands signifies a new romance this could be that new romance that you've worked on and you finally you know you've got this this uh life uh goal okay it's about an inspiration to create something so you're wanting to create something on the outside you could be showing yourself as somebody you wanting to create because there you are in your mind you're creating there's just nothing showing yet okay all right, but this person is just, it's not, they're not sharing anything with you when it comes to anything, well, you know, what, unless, and then at the very, this one here shows what they're representing themselves on the outside, you know, you could be thinking, so this is all you see is the worry and anxiety perhaps from this person, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is shuffle till one card falls out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What is the message? For all cancers. What are the messages for all cancers? Cancers. Okay. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I'm just going to see what the book says. All right. Unrequited love. Because it doesn't make sense. All right. Um, the Romance Angels compassionately bring you this card to answer to your relationship questions. The person you're inquiring about has many qualities that you find attractive. However, there's not enough mutual attraction to create the passion you're seeking. This relationship is more like a cat and mouse chase with one partner continue, continually retreating and disappearing. Neither person enjoys this imbalance and lack of chemistry is the reason. You may both share genuine love, which in itself can be a foundation for a long-term relationship. This card comes to you simply to help you understand the missing components which you both can sense. All right. So I would think this, this you guys see it here, but you're missing something. This person is not, not um, sharing with you what they feel. Okay. All right, so I say talk to the person. 
all right? Um, because this represents the relationship. Everything's, it seems like everything is going well. This person just needs to share, okay? All right, so that is your reading for you, Cancers. I really hope that this reading helps you. And again, if you're interested in a private reading, just email me and I'll send you all the information within 24 hours. All right, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a good month. All right, but take care. Bye-bye.